Hello and welcome everyone and this is Stock Force One here to show you how to set up uh, your character once you first log into the game. Uh, what's good to know and what's uh, good practice to do. First we'll go into the settings which is located here in the game menu pressing escape preferences and let's start with controls. Auto loot right click really good and enable area loot as well because then you right click on one monster and all the loot on different monsters in an area uh, will actually be looted as well. Auto target closes enemy, nah don't fool with that. Focus target, haven't played with that, so, uh, it will be good uh, because you can have a hotkey for secondary targets. Uh, ignore NPC during type targeting, that's pretty good if you keep getting the wrong NPC, so then you can click this one to enable it, uh, so it actually uh, works that way. Uh, this one I haven't played with uh, much, uh, so actually I have no recommendation for that. Enable camera appearance, camera max distance, if you want to zoom really far out, uh, use this one, and uh, if you uh, like to have it in closer, you can adjust it uh, here as well. Rest of it, uh, well, the one down here, Q window. Uh, basically, when you fire off an ability, you can uh, max one second in advance fire off an ability. Uh, it's not much, uh, so you still have to spam the buttons uh, quite a lot, but set it up uh, makes it uh, much nicer uh, that you don't have to click it all the time. Fly text, well, that's the text that comes above your uh, character when damage and heals and stuff like that. Uh, feel free to adjust them to your liking. And uh, nothing important there. Sounds you can adjust in here. Uh, I'm turning music volume down a lot of the time because it tends to get quite loud, and especially if you're talking with people on vent or uh, team speak or whatever they're called. Chat timestamp always good to know if you've missed something. Uh, said recently or if uh, someone said goodbye 10 minutes ago. Chat panel fade. You don't want to have it up here. Uh, want it to fade out. Also alpha, you can adjust uh, uh, how it looks. Use interface. Here you can say to track missions by area, which means the missions up here will uh, appear and disappear as you enter an area, so you don't show up missions because, uh, when you're in other areas. Auto skip movies for those who don't want the uh, movie clips. Item modification warning. Um, Basically, when you try and modify an item, it comes up with a warning you might be destroying stuff. Tutorials, well, says itself. Quick slots here, this is what you really need. Enable left quick slot, right, and bottom center. Because that gives you one over here, one extra down here, and one over here. Uh, then you really have a space for a lot of uh, stuff in, and I'll show you that in a moment. Maps, haven't really played much with it, uh, but again, change it if there's something you don't like. Tooltips if you don't want them, same with conversations. Uh, display subtitles for conversation, that's a really good one for a lot of people. Especially if you're not that uh, good at English, uh, then having subtitles on is really helpful. Or if there's a lot of noise around you, then you can just read the t uh, conversations. Um, here you can Put some more on. Graphics, well, that's up to you. I personally run in windowed mode because then the game doesn't uh, disappear into the background every time I uh, work on my other monitors. Um, if you have a low level PC, uh, uh, turn down your clipping distance and your shadow quality gives you some really good boosts. Uh, the same with anti aliasing and of course setting the rest of the stuff uh, lower. Social. Here is a good one, hide head slots. A lot of people don't want to wear some ugly helmet and stuff like that to hide their uh, nice uh, character's head, so that's a good one. Show Sith Corruption. If you uh, go to the dark side for every level uh, you gain in it, uh, which is roughly every thousand points, uh, then your skin and eyes uh, begin to ref uh, reflect that if you turn this on. You can turn it off and then it won't show. Uh, it's some minor level of details, you grow a bit darker and sickly looking, but that's it. 
Um, this one is a good one. Allow access to same class story area. If you check this on, other people with the same class quest as you uh, will be able to enter your uh, area, the same uh, people in your group, of course. Uh, which means it's easier to team up and, and stuff like that. If you don't have those on, then people won't uh, be able to go in. Um, down here is the legacy system, where you can hide your legacy, uh, legacy surname and legacy title. Uh, it's uh, basically you get the last name uh, and titles that is shareable across all your characters. Nameplates. Here, if you want to see the nameplate above yourself and uh, your new companions, friendly NPCs. Personally, I like the friendly NPC one because then you can see, oh wait, there's a, a vendor there and, and stuff like that. So that's really good. If you don't want to see all the friendly players, companions, that's a good one to take off because it's getting rather annoying seeing Mako number 375. Basically, that's uh, the standard settings. Then we're going to key bindings. Um, there's only a few I actually recommend doing, and uh, that's actually the quick slots. Uh, I'm using a G13, uh, which means I have uh, a lot of rows. And the way I set it up is that um, I put my uh, alternative keys on uh, the second row down here. Whoa. Yep, that is the right one. Uh, there we go. And it's got seven keys across, which means I got two rows of seven now where I can put abilities and have quick access to them. Uh, it's a bit about movement. There's a follow target. Haven't been using that anyways. Miscellaneous interface if you want to toggle different things on and off. Chat, not really much there. And the same with, with that. Press OK and you go out and you go into this. Personally, Scale that one down a bit. Now, the way I usually do it, uh, you start with uh, a buff. All classes start with a buff here, and uh, the tank classes start with uh, four. Oh, well, Jedi Knight might start with a form here. Uh, I usually tend to put these on the side because I don't have to cast them uh, constantly, only when I die, or this one every hour. This one is the quick travel. I tend to put this on the other one where I put all the non-essential things on. Um, introspection here is your Jedi Knight heal. Every class gets one, uh, different names and different effects. But what it basically does is it heals you up and regenerates everything for you. Uh, use this one after every battle if you are at least this much down on health and things are difficult because it's just good practice to just keep pressing it. It doesn't take long and you can cancel it whenever you want. And then you have the two abilities. Uh, the way I'm using it, I'm using them from the middle and out. So I tend to have the most often used in the middle here. Uh, and that's why I set this up. I'm hiding this one because that's basically just a tutorial window. Up here is your missions, and you can actually click on them, uh, and they will pop up, and you can click here to have them tracked. If you don't have them marked here, they won't show up when you uh, click on the map, um, which is quite nice if you want a clean map or if there's just some missions you don't want to see yet. Um, you can abandon, resets, untrack as well. There's also something called the codex. In here you can find lots of information and details about stuff. And over here is the logout for all the dungeons. Um, and you can see that. And here is a party tab where you can uh, see what your party member members are on. 